Matt, Christy, and Ben reviewed Sucker Punch on What the Flick last week, giving it a dismal rating of 1.5. So I thought I'd give you my two cents since I actually liked Sucker Punch. And why? Because Sucker Punch is ambitious, imaginative, visually impressive, and is, at its core, exactly what it's been sold as. A comic book style movie with hot women kicking ass in a crazy fantasy world. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. That said, Sucker Punch is by no means a great movie. While I like director Zack Snyder's first two comic-to-film adaptations, 300 and Watchmen, he isn't known for cohesive storytelling or memorable, well-developed characters. And Sucker Punch is no different, which isn't helped by the fact that Snyder and co-writer Steve Shibuya don't write great dialogue. But the critical drubbing Sucker Punch has received seems weirdly out of proportion for a movie that does such an excellent job of being the comic book fantasy it said it would be. There's perhaps no director alive who's better than Snyder at seamlessly melding live action with CGI. And free of the restraints of pre-existing material, Snyder's imagination can run wild to create worlds unlike anything I've ever seen, with terrific action, cool-looking kills, and impressive fight choreography. While the story is flawed, I did find it compelling, and while the main characters aren't well-developed, I largely believed the bond between them. But because the women do their ass-kicking in tight, somewhat revealing outfits, many critics have dismissed Sucker Punch's gratuitous, misogynistic, faux-feminist, fanboy, whack-off material. But I disagree. While a lot of guys certainly like seeing sexy women kicking ass and taking names, are we saying that women unequivocally don't or shouldn't? Were attractive female action stars that were hailed as being empowering, like Angelina Jolie, Michelle Rodriguez, Jennifer Garner, and Carrie Ann Moss actually setting women back? And don't a lot of women embrace strong women who own their sexiness like Beyonce, Rihanna, Serena Williams, Fergie, and Gwen Stefani? Our culture reveres women who are tough and capable while retaining their femininity. And to me, the outfits in Sucker Punch didn't make the girls look like hookers, but comic book characters. And Snyder has, above all else, a comic book style. How is it not empowering for the five women in Sucker Punch to take on their male oppressors and fight in an aggressive, violent, warrior-like way that, for the most part, is seen as the exclusive territory of men? A lot of guys like the idea of sexy, heavily armed women wasting bad guys, but I imagine that there are women who do too. And while the girls face a constant threat of sexual violence from the asylum's lecherous male staff, those scenes are scary, not titillating, and they're consistent with the film's dim view of men. And last, who decides what is and isn't empowering for women, since it seems like virtually anything can qualify? If a woman feels empowered by doing her own home repairs, watching a female action star dispatching bad guys, or taking a pole dancing class that helps her feel confident about her body, who's to say they're wrong? Maybe it's like what Lisa Simpson said. Well, as a feminist, virtually anything a woman does is empowering. Sucker Punch is no cinematic masterpiece, but it's nowhere near as bad as many are making it out to be. And when critics and audiences are so divided on a film, that's generally a sign that something interesting is going on and that some people might be getting it while others, for whatever reason, aren't. For me, Sucker Punch is a fun, imaginative, ambitious, yet flawed action movie that deserves to be seen on the big screen and that I think men and women can enjoy, which is why I gave Sucker Punch a 7.5. I'm Jonathan Kim for What the Flick.